are there ancillary benefits to being a quarterback that wins? Yes. And then I would also go here. Is there even more ancillary benefits in being the winningest and best black quarterback in this generation? Absolutely. Steve, I'm wondering by Lamar Jackson's comments of wanting to be Tom Brady, prioritizing bringing Super Bowls, is that an indication that Lamar might be pivoting a little bit contract-wise mm. and may be willing to accept a little less money in order to build the kind of team that can win multiple Super Bowls? Well, Jason, that, that depends. Does, does, does he realize that in theory what he's saying is great? But in reality, that means do you want to be the richest quarterback or the winningest? Because the way the salary cap is set up in the National Football League, you really can't be both. There's always a window of time when a quarterback hits on that first contract that you could spread out the money and you can create real depth. Now, does he have an agent, which he does not? So I guess I'm going to ask the mother, do you want your son to be the richest quarterback? in the history of the National Football League, or one of the winningest? Because I don't believe those two things can exist. Uh, I do wonder, does he have an inner circle that's going to explain to him the dynamics of this? Uh, I found it interesting. But again, when these players talk about money or their negotiations, the one underlying thing they always try to get across is, well, <laughs> it's not about the money. Excuse me. It's always about the money. Double negative alert. It's never not about the money. And that is what has separated Tom Brady. No matter what version of Tom Brady exists today, I will give him that. He sacrificed a little bit monetarily to become the greatest winner in the history of the National Football League. So that is the question for Lamar Jackson. Do you want to be the richest quarterback or among the winningest? Because you really can't have both. Well, I think Tom Brady, over the long haul, Keep in mind, the guy's already got a TV deal that's going to pay him $30, $40 million a year at Fox Sports to call football games, and that's because he's the winningest quarterback in, in football history. So I think over the course of Tom Brady's earning career, as it relates to football, not just on the field but off the field, he will end up the richest football player. Well, that's hmm, that's interesting. That's if again, that has a lot to do with the media in terms of does Lamar Jackson have a future as a color commentator? Uh, look, are there ancillary benefits to being a quarterback that wins? Yes. And then I would I'll also go here. Is there even more ancillary benefits in being the winningest and best black quarterback in this generation? Absolutely. I mean, you could really parlay that. No one wants to say it, but we're fearless. We're going to say it here. If Lamar Jackson puts up a couple of Lombardi trophies in his mantle, he could be Allen Iverson on steroids. Remember when Allen Iverson had the street cred, which was obviously so much, but he got a lot of endorsements out of it. He's still iconic to this day, will always be legendary. But there was one thing that was missing. Allen, unfortunately, never won. Never won the big title. He went to one NBA Finals, and the rest of his career was really about having great stats, flashy highlights, but it wasn't about winning. If Lamar Jackson, who already has an MVP and has won a lot, can add a Super Bowl or two, we are talking about him literally uh, going up and doing the Brinks robbery year after year for the rest of his life. 